the Liberal leader at the time, Steele. And I said, traditionally, <laughs> you used to get your hands on that bloody dispatch box there, and you used to take money from the T&G in order for you to get elected in bloody Birmingham. Bugger off! <laughs> David Oi then became leader after Jenkins had not lasted too long and David Oi became the leader of the SDP and he decided that he would get one up on Jenkins. And this was all about the prayer cards. So David Owen started coming in early, but he couldn't compete with those, me, Bob Cryer and Dennis Canavan and one or two more. Dennis Canavan, by the way, did put a prayer card in because he was Roman Catholic and he always used to vote left wing unless it was abortion, you know. Um, I think there's some in here. <laughs> anyway, I said, we've got to stop him. So we've got to put prayer cards in all of us. And we did stop him for a while and then he, he kept coming and stealing it once in a blue moon. And then finally he brushed past Claire Shaw. You remember her? Yeah. Oh. And so on a point of order, we raised the fact that he kicked a woman. <laughs> and that was the end of it. I mean, there were all sorts of people looking at him as if, you know, it was Jimmy Savile. <laughs> well, they didn't think about that then. I'm, I'm, I'm speaking metaphorically. What I can see is that it was only... Uh, on the receiving end of the year, Tom, a few more times, wasn't he? So once, when he went to the when he went to the EC back in the seventies, yes, uh, and his close associate, of course, was David Markin, and you said because uh, he, he couldn't say his arms properly, so he said, "I leave without rancor." Couldn't say his arms properly. <laughs> so Dennis, what you said was, "I thought you were taking Markin with you." Yes, <laughs> is that right? Correct. David Markin was another one that had been sort of planted inside the East Midlands uh, constituencies at Ashfield and he was part of this group of people that surrounded the acolytes of Roy Jenkins and gradually they were growing. Dick Tavern was another one at Lincoln, you remember all about that and the fewer all over that by-election and, uh, and David Markham was at Ashfield and so just as Owen said I leave without wanker. <laughs> and I said, I thought you were taking David Markle with you. 